Well, another tool that meteorologists like Bob will use is now uh, in orbit after a launch yeah, just a while ago. Yeah, billion dollars worth of uh, wow. tools up there. Up there, and this is it right here. Oh, wow. This is the GOES S, and it will no soon become GOES 17. We had the GOES R, or GOESer, in 2016 <laughs> that went up, and that, well, that's in full operation now. But a successful launch just at five o'clock, just after five o'clock, and. These things are so precise and so good that the GO-16 actually saw this and uh, actually had an image of the, the plume of smoke left behind uh, from this satellite. So uh, pretty amazing, yeah. yeah. It's going to help a lot with fires out west. Now, this GO-17 will be out west. It won't mm -hmm. be for the eastern United States. That's the GO-16. And these take pictures and images uh, less than five minutes apart, where it used to be 15 minutes you had to wait. It's less than five minutes, so pretty amazing. Wow. That technology yeah. is really advancing there. Uh, these two birds up there high atop uh, ABC7 Studios, waiting. We're waiting and waiting and waiting, and so is uh, Marianne, who went to our website, mysuncoast.com, to see how Sarah and, Soda, Sarah and Soda are doing, and where's the egg? We're waiting for the egg. Well, we've seen a lot of other things, but no egg yet. We'll see how it goes. Snook season. Uh, Sydney Desmond showing this picture. It's open. Snook season, 1st of March. Uh, the uh, snook season open. There's a small little, um, again, slot there, 28 inches to 32 inches. You've got to catch them to keep them, but um, let them go if you don't want them, obviously. Uh, Van Wazel webcam showing beautiful conditions out there once again, although a little bit windier than we've seen over the past uh, week now as this frontal system is approaching. Lots of rainfall here, snow falling in parts of Ohio near Toledo and uh, stretching off toward Cleveland tonight where there are some winter weather advisories, winter storm warnings in effect for Detroit stretching over to Buffalo. They could see up to a foot to maybe 16 inches of snowfall over the weekend. And then to the south of that, a lot of problems. Here's that thin line of showers coming with the cold front. This is at uh, midnight tonight as we see it approach and move down. Uh, there it is just north of the Tampa Bay area by 4 a.m. By 7 a.m., there'll be a few showers around for drop off. So keep that in mind uh, for the kids and uh, your commute to work. But by 10 a.m., most of the rain will have cleared our viewing area. And we're not expecting a lot of rainfall as it moves through. We will see an increase in clouds in the morning and then some clearing in the afternoon. The real cool weather won't get here until Saturday morning. 76 right now and the humidity way up there. The dew point 71, 81 the high today. That's well above the average of 75. Uh, no record, 87 degrees set back in 1997. And as far as temperatures go, we'll see one more day of 80 degree temperatures. Then we'll say goodbye to those for a while. Uh, we haven't uh, had cooler weather around for uh, at least uh, two and a half weeks, really. And as far as the satellite and radar imagery goes, this area of low pressure continues to march off to the northeast, uh, bringing that uh, snowfall into parts of the uh, New York area as well as Pennsylvania. Here's the European model showing that thin line of showers just after sunrise. Not much to it at all. And then behind it, uh, some cooler air as winds will switch around to a north to northwesterly direction. And that will finally uh, break this uh, string of record high temperatures in 11 days. Uh, with temperatures into the 80s or above. Now, as far as that snowfall goes, I mentioned up to a foot of snow expected. This is a forecast model showing the snow through Saturday, and that area pinpointed right there could get up to uh, 12 to 18 inches of snowfall. Uh, most of New York and northern portions of Pennsylvania will see up to, say, 8 to 12 inches of snow. Temperatures currently in the 30s over the northern plains, 40s and 30s over much of the Great Lakes. Highs tomorrow will warm into the 40s in places like uh, Detroit, Chicago, and Minneapolis, 70 in Dallas. Uh, for the rest of the night, boating right around southwest winds at 15 knots. Tomorrow, winds will switch around to a westerly direction at around 10 knots and seas 2 to 3 feet with a moderate chop on the bays and the waters force on Friday. Well, here it is, a 30% chance for morning showers and then some clearing in the afternoon. High temperatures near the beaches, upper 70s, low 80s inland. 75 on Saturday and for the Academy Award, the day of Academy Awards on ABC7 will be 72. Cooler start on Monday morning. Temperatures staying in the 70s all the way through next week. Another front arrives on Wednesday. Back to you.